as you can see, delicious chocolate protein carnival batter bite. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious carnival protein butter bites. So here you'll see I've invested in a stunning Lilo and Stitch Pyrex bowl. I'm going to be using this to melt the butter and go through the directions quickly and explain how much and what to do from there. Um, here we've got just some plain unsalted butter. Works a treat, delicious. You can use salted butter as well. Doesn't really matter, just depends on your taste preferences and where you're at in terms of your salt intake. So I recommend actually breaking these down into little chunks like that. You seem to melt a bit quicker. What I'm gonna do is weigh out 200 grams. So there we have it, 200 grams on the scale. Now what we're gonna do with this, is we're gonna put it in the microwave just here. We're gonna set the timer to one minute and 10 seconds. So let's take a look. Now as you can see, it's melted nicely. There aren't any lumpy bumpy bits, so it's perfect. All I'm gonna do now is add the heavy cream then let it cool down. Look at that gorgeous golden nectar. Delightful. Okay, so I'm gonna add the heavy cream or double cream. I recommend using about 30 grams. So if you're from the UK, you're looking for something like that and that sort of tub. Um, heavy cream works pretty much just the same. A bit more fat, but that's about it. So 30 grams going in. Thirty-three grams is close enough. Thirty-four. Now what I'm going to do is add in a tiny bit of sugar-free sweetener. Now you don't have to add this in; it's not essential. Um, is it an animal food? No, but it helps it taste a lot better if you're trying to get down a lot of food in a given day for any kind of athletic or body composition endeavours. The one I've been using is this brand. Um, it comes in like two hundred milliliter bottles, I believe. I usually add in about five grams. There we go, close enough. Now using a spoon or spatula of your choice, you can give it a little mix in. Wow, sit here, Maddie. So Maddie's just here, she's gonna help us stir this jug. Go on, Maddie. Stir it. Oh, close enough. Good girl. Right now what we're gonna do, Maddie, is we're gonna add in protein powder. So the one I'm gonna use in this instance is gonna be chocolate. Yeah, I did you want to see this. Yeah, you like chocolate, don't you? Yeah. Not too much, bad for your teeth. So you can use chocolate or vanilla protein powder or even unflavoured stuff. Really really up to you. Maddie, you don't like the unflavoured stuff, do you? I don't want it flavored. No. Yeah. You want flavored. Okay, we're gonna add in 50 grams. Yes, 50 grams, not anything less. I do recommend letting this mixture cool down before actually adding anything to it um, in terms of solids. Yeah, definitely not too soon. Excellent. Yeah, should we give that a mix, Maddie? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Maddie, give it a mix. Give it a mix. That's it. Bit more. There we go. Thanks for your help, Maddie. You do it. You wait like that, Maddie didn't sleep much last night, so we're gonna 
Please. Give her a bit of assistance here. You're a bit sh- yeah, not very much sleep. No, a bit you're tired. He's way more. Well, you smart, but you want to So mix it all in. They should end up with a muddy texture and consistency like this. Yeah. So you can actually add more cream to it and that will make the texture a bit softer I find. Um, but not too soft because otherwise it's too wet to eat isn't it? It melts too quick. That's it. Now what we're going to do here is once this is all stirred up. Maddie that's very accurate yes. We're going to put it in the the little donuts. So we use a silicone mold for these. Yeah. It doesn't leach out plastics into the food. Maddie, you don't know much about this, so don't interfere. Exactly. Right. I'm gonna pour it in. I recommend not going directly to the top because it'll mean it'll spill out quite easily when you're taking it out of the freezer later. Wow. You should get quite a good mixture out of this. There's always usually one at the end I find where it's not quite. Get all the last drops. Now as you can see we've got six perfectly moulded donut shapes. These are my original carnivore protein butter bites. All we're gonna do now is gonna put these into the freezer. So all they do is go from here into here. I wouldn't recommend transporting any other way than this. Not quite as safe because of the recipe being held still. Oh. Oh. And in it goes. Stay tuned for the next part of the recipe. Right, so I'm about to take them out of the freezer. They've been in there for about two hours. Let's check them out. Ta-da! Fantastic. So these are my carnival protein butter bites, and I recommend actually putting the drawer, put them into a drawer that's actually high enough to put them in and out so they don't, you know, congeal over the edges. But anyway, I'm gonna pop them out now and see what they're like. As you can see, delicious chocolate protein carnival butter bite. Now I get a lot of the salads come on here in my channel and say, oh, it's not carnival. Oh, I don't care. I couldn't care less. Um, the fact remains it is 99% carnival by macronutrient ratio or gram. So in my book, it is pretty much a carnival butter bite. Um, now these are useful tools for people that are trying to sort of get on a diet where they eat more food than the average person. So an athlete, a postman. I've got a guy who's actually a coaching client of mine and he's always, you know, having these new things. He finds ways to sort of get the extra food in. I've got a lady who uses my carnival cake recipe. She finds that really useful. These are just ways to get more food in. Now these aren't a substitute for the mainstay of a carnival diet, which is of course the meat and fat of animals. But these are just great ways of getting more food in, like I said. So try them out. I'll put the recipe below. Hopefully you guys will hit like and subscribe to keep my channel going. And um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers. Build muscle and lose fat on the carnivore diet.